Today I'll show you how to install the Windows Server operating system in EVENG. First, we'll need to download the Windows Server ISO file from the internet. Search for Windows Server ISO download. Open up the Microsoft website. Click on the 64-bit ISO download. As you can see, I have downloaded the image to my PC already. In order to install Windows Server in EVNG, you need to create a folder for the server on EVNG. To do that, log in with SSH onto the EVNG machine and create a new directory in the QEMU folder. The directory name must start with winserver- -dash. Just add whatever version you have downloaded. Now we need to copy the Windows Server ISO to that folder. I'll copy the current path to use it in the SCP command. Use SCP to copy the ISO image onto the EVNG machine. You can use a graphical SCP client as well. Afterwards, open the SSH connection again and check if the ISO file is there. Use the move command to rename the ISO file to cdrom.iso. List the contents again. It should only list the cdrom.iso file now. Now I'll create a hard disk image on which the server will be installed onto. Use the QMU image tool on the EVNG machine to create the file. I'll assign it 50 GB. The file must be called virtioa.qk2. This way it will be recognized by EVNG. Once that's done, run the fix permissions command. Open up the web interface of EVNG, click on the plus button on the top left side, click on the note and search for Windows in the template field. If the files are being recognized correctly, Windows Server will be available. Set all the settings. The QEMU version must be set to 5.2.0 for the best performance. Save the settings. The Windows Server will appear. You can drag it wherever you want it to be. Right click on the Windows Server node and click on Start. The node icon becomes colorful when it's being powered. Click on the node and click on Open Link. This will open the windows of the server. Once it is booted up, choose your language and keyboard layout. Select the version you want. Click on I accept the license terms and on next. Choose custom install windows only. There is a load driver button at the bottom left side of the window. Click on that. A new window will appear. Click on the browse button. Open up the second floppy disk drive. Click on the last folder called storage. Click on 2003R2 and choose AMD64. Click on OK and click on next. And click on next. Once it is done installing Windows Server, it will reboot. On the next reboot, it will ask you to configure the password. When you are on the login screen, use the QEMU desktop viewer to send the keyboard shortcut to open up the password prompt. Type in your password. We we'll save this Windows Server image as the template. So you don't have to bother with the initial setup when spinning up another Windows Server VM. To do that, we have to complete this command. You get that by editing the Windows Server VM. The ID is displayed in the second field. In my case, it has a node ID of 1. Now the UUID of the lab. On the left side, there is a lab details button. There you will see the lab ID. Just copy that into the command. To get the pot ID, close the lab.
On the EVNG homepage, open up the management window, click on user management, the pod ID is on the right side. In my case it is zero. Complete the command and copy the command. Open up the SSH session again and enter the command. Enter this QEMU image commit command. It will say image committed afterwards. For that to work, you'll need to have at least the same free space available on the EVNG machine as the Windows file size. You can safely remove the CD-ROM.IDA file now. If you want to connect the Windows Server machine to the internet, click on the plus button on the top left side. This time choose Network, choose Management Cloud Zero from the drop down menu, save it, drag it beside the Windows machine, click on the cable button and drag it onto this Windows Server node. Confirm the prompt and start Windows Server again. Once it is started, you can see it identified in Network. Just click on the Yes button. That's it. Have a great day.